If you have ever dropped or spilled paint on your floor while painting around the house, then you'll be so glad you stuck around for more Explore Tulsa. There really is nothing worse than having to clean up spilled paint. It's just one big mess. Look, I already told you I was sorry for spilling paint on your jeans and your shoes while I was painting the studio. Well, I want you to pay close attention to Ben Mayberry and learn all about his new invention, the Paint Handy. Well, I did have an event of mine, you know, as a, as a kid, as a young kid, I was always uh, finding a way to innovate. I was in automotive restoration for over 20 years and really enjoyed it, did a lot of work there. And I had a neighbor friend of mine ask me to help him on a big project that he had. So I helped him and I just fell in love with painting houses. So that's where I got started and I got so excited about uh, being outdoors and the fresh air and the sunshine, it was wonderful. So I kind of ventured off in that direction. Well, I was on the largest job I'd ever done, residential, in Owasso. And uh, during that job, at the very, very end, we had uh, packed up everything and was getting ready to drive off the job site and looked back at the house and I thought, oh my gosh, I forgot a little section uh, on the peak above the driveway. At that last day, nobody else was on the job site with me. So I, I struggled to grab paint out of the truck. Everything was packed so tightly. And uh, I just reached for anything and everything I could grab to help me go up that ladder and do that job. But I didn't really want to take a full gallon of paint up there because now their cars were in the driveway and that sort of thing. So I was looking for a piece of cardboard or anything I could just ladle enough paint out onto and work from there. And I just found this little piece of fibrous uh, bristle type material and I started ladling paint onto it. And so when I went up that ladder with brush in one hand and this material in the other, I noticed that it didn't spill paint at all. It held a, an awful lot of paint, and when I would tap the brush to it, it would load it very, very quickly without dripping from the tool. And so it was a very, very fast reload, and, and I could hold it at any angle without spilling it. So as I drove home, I couldn't get it out of my mind. It actually allows the paint to become weightless because there's so many tiny uh, bristle fingers on the base of the of the tray that there's so many of them that the paint that surrounds it is becomes weightless. And so when you pour paint into it and you turn it upside down, once it's embedded into that surface, it won't spill. And then when you put your brush to it, it actually interacts with that surface and exchanges paint. So you don't have the the drip factor, you know, and especially when you're up there on crown molding and it all starts to run back on your brush at you, you don't have any of that. And you can reload the brush very, very quickly. When I would use it, I would discover something more about it, something, uh, you know, I could throw it on a rooftop, high-pitched roof, and it just sat there, it wouldn't even slide down. I could sit it on top of a hedge, you know, if I was painting a planter's box of a window and it would just sit there. It wouldn't fall through and you know dump paint everywhere. You know, in that time, it evolved, but it was years of just using it and testing it, and trying it out, and trying to find. Okay, I know the pros, but are there any cons? Are there, is there something that somebody say, yeah, that's good, but I wouldn't use it because of this? So I wanted to get all that out of the way. It it grabbed a lot of media attention very quickly when you talk about you know drip free, dripless spill-free pan. So, um, I mean, the New York Times, and everybody really started responding, but one of the biggest uh, things for us was this old house. Because, you know, they're the real scrutinizers. I mean, they're, they don't cut you any slack, you know, and, and uh, they asked for some additional liners when we sent it to them. They were really excited about it, but they wanted to do different scenarios. And so, in those scenarios, they found out it was just amazing, and it worked in every way we claimed it would. And so, that was that put us in the top 100 products of 2013, and then we got the editor's pick of the top five. So uh, I was on Fox News, Fox and Friends, um, Megan Meany's Must Haves, and, and Rachel Ray, and you know, just really, really has, like you said, caught on media-wise. Well, it was really just surreal, you know. It was, it was, it was every day when I woke up, I thought, is this really happening? I mean, because it, it just seemed like it was just one foot in front of the other, not that there weren't struggles, there were unbelievable struggles through that time, but everything just came together, you know, and it was amazing to see, and so I was thinking, could this really be something very big? And, and it appears that it is.